What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again, giving you the information that you asked me for. Um, this is a good question that I got. First of all, I want to make sure y'all check out Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. Also, go to the website. That's the ChazEllisProject.com. Go to that. Um, anyway, hit me up on any one of those. Anyway, the question that I got was, what do you do when a guy seems really interested, but then suddenly backs off. Um, I can understand why that get to you. That kind of be like, it's confusing. Why would somebody start liking you? And then suddenly just be like, eh, what happened? Well, there could be plenty of reasons for why somebody does this. Um, there could be a situation where they were talking to somebody before you and they may be wanting to end that. It could be something between you and them. Um, it could be work related. It could be uh, family related. It could be all kinds of different stuff because that's just how people are. Things happen in the world around you that doesn't have anything to do with you. So when you ask me, what do you do about it? One of the first things you got to do is not take it personally because you don't know what happened. And when you take it personally, what often happens is you go on an emotional roller coaster. Y'all know what I'm talking about. One day you're like, oh, I really like him and I want to talk to him again. The next day you're like, well, why ain't that punk ass nigga talking to me no more? Why ain't he calling me? Forget him. You know, you're going from one thing to another. And oftentimes you're doing that while trying to communicate with him. So you might send him a happy text message one minute like, just hadn't heard from you in a while. I want to talk to you. Then the next thing you know, you're going, oh, well, forget you then, Mr. I can't call nobody. I can't text nobody. I can't even send a Facebook message to let somebody know I'm alive. Well, forget you then. Then the next day you feel bad about it. I'm sorry about sending you that message. I was a little upset. I had been drinking that night. I apologize. Then you're back at it again. Now you look crazy. So just don't take it personally because you got to relax and just understand that a lot of things could be going on. So don't just take it personally right off top. Because it may not even be about you. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, stop trying to make contact. Once you've made tried to make contact one or two times, clearly the person's not going to get back to you. It doesn't take long to figure out that the person's not going to get back to you. So once you've made contact one or two times, nothing's happened, or the person hasn't really wanted to talk to you or whatever, or didn't get back to you, chill for a minute. Don't... um. Don't try to contact them anymore because then you start looking crazy and you start looking pretty desperate because now it's like, I'm just going to keep contacting you. I don't care if he doesn't respond. He de I deserve something. I deserve him to talk to me again. He doesn't have a right to just go ahead and stop talking to me and not give me any explanation. Well, now you're starting to look crazy. And other people probably reading your text message like, man, I wouldn't talk to girl no more. And if it was something that wasn't personal, it wasn't about you. Now you completely turn the person off to where now it is personal and it is about you. It could have been a situation where the ex was bothering them or whatever and they was like, you know what, I want to resolve this situation before I start trying to start a new relationship with somebody I really like. And then you start hitting them up talking crazy and they were like, wow, this person is nuts. I should never talk to them again. And now, you know, they're not interested anymore. So make sure that you don't, once you made a few attempts to make contact, chill. Um, another one, when they do finally make contact, calm down, listen, listen to what they say, because people make contact sometimes and they give you the, the answer to everything that happened. This happened, that happened, blah, 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 blah. Now you know everything. Um, and this, and the answers sound reasonable. Um, but when you're not listening, they say something to you and you just start getting pissed off. You know, sometimes we don't even listen. Sometimes we want somebody to talk to us so bad. But when they start talking, all we do is wait for our chance to talk and go off on them. They're like, um, yeah, you know, I haven't called you for like two weeks, but the craziest things happened. Um, my mama just died. Uh, I've been in my room kind of curled up in a ball crying the whole two weeks, you know, because that was terrible. It was devastating, you know. And then during that time, I lost my job. Uh, I've been going through it. And you ain't even hear that. You were like, 
So you just don't tell me you're not going to call me, okay? You're just not going to call me. You're not going to pick up a phone. You can't go text message me, let me know what's going on. Let me, you know, and this person is sitting there telling you their mom just died or something like that, and you going off on them. So now when you retell that story to other people, when you finally process what really happened, because you weren't listening at the time, people looking at you like you crazy. They're like, damn, dude, told you your mom died and you cussed them out? What kind of person are you? Damn. But friends like you, who needs an enemy? You know, you thinking to yourself like, dang, I shouldn't have. Now you got to go back and try to apologize when you could have just listened, processed the story, and then said something back. You know, like, well, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, whatever the case may be. Because yeah, they may give you a full of crap answer, but that's good. You need to listen and get the full of crap answer. Because if you're not, if you're not listening and you're just waiting for your chance to talk, then you go off on the person and you're apologizing to that for that, whether you're wrong or right. Because now you feel like I didn't really listen to what you had to say and I just went off on you. So you might even give out an apology that, that they don't really deserve. Have you ever had somebody do you wrong, but you responded in such a crazy way that you ended up having to apologize even though they were wrong? Like you responded so crazy that it made you feel bad. You know, because you're a civilized person. So you was like, dang, that wasn't right. I shouldn't have responded like that. But really, they were wrong. So listen to the person and make sure you know what's really going on. Um, and third, or and the last thing is, only accept direct answers. A lot of times, people give you some bull crap, and because you just want to talk to them so bad, you start accepting that. Like, you know, well, what happened to you? I hadn't seen you in a while. I was just wondering... Oh, you know, I just had a lot of stuff going on. Okay, that didn't explain. I haven't talked to you in like a month. Oh, um, you know, stuff, crazy stuff. What does that even mean? That's not even a direct answer. So are you ready? Are you still interested in me? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I, I think you're really cool. See, when people try to give you these indirect answers where you're like, oh, these vague answers, you're like, that's vague. I don't know what you're saying. And they keep you kind of going. You know, they're not telling you whether they like you. They're not telling you what happened. They're not telling you whether you should keep talking to them or whether that's a waste of time. So make sure you get real, honest, direct answers. You may not know whether they're the truth or not, but make sure they're detailed, direct answers before you start believing anything and before you start talking to this person again. So make sure of that. Hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. Hopefully I can keep you from going crazy and acting crazy on these people and kind of, you know, keep your head straight. So hopefully I was able to help you out. Like I said, hit me up at Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. Also, the ChazEllisProject.com. Make sure you go to that. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. And share these videos with your friends, family members, and even people you don't like. Share it anyway. Peace.